It is the most patriotic week of the year, and you have heard it said, in God we trust. Well, the proof is in the pudding. The Founding Fathers were Christian. The Elephant in the Pew. Hey, you found Elephant in the Pew, your daily resource that engages the world from a Christian viewpoint and looks at the topics everyone wants to discuss but nobody wants to talk about. I am Ryan Ramsey. Elephant in the Pew is back with a new format. Until now, you have heard us on our podcast, but now not only can you get the audio podcast daily from our website at elephantpew.com and all other podcast outlets, of course, but now we are on YouTube. That's right. So punch that subscribe button and get the madness that is Stephen and I every single day. That's right. Every single weekday. Have you noticed today the amount of state hate? That's right. It's very popular to be the one on Facebook bashing the president or anything that the government does. Now, I'm not exactly the most patriotic person, but as a believer in Jesus Christ, I find comfort in the fact that our political system was founded by people who believed in God and worshiped God. As the rise of state hate continues, many people have made the argument that the government and the Christian religion religion shouldn't be in the same bed. And I agree with this. Look at the involvement of the Church of England in the government when the early Americans left to live in a land where the Church of England didn't reign over them. This was the foundation of religious freedom and the separation of church and state, that the church wouldn't influence the government, and more importantly, that the government couldn't mandate church activities. I wholeheartedly agree with this. Then the left takes it a step further and wants to require a removal of everything, including God, to be removed taking the Ten Commandments out of court buildings, taking in God we trust off our money, and then beginning the attack on the Founding Fathers' faith. I first heard this argument in college, that the Founding Fathers were not Christian at all, but instead known as deists. See, Wikipedia says this about deism. Deism is a political position which says that a God does not interfere directly with the world. It also rejects revelation as a source of religious knowledge, with the conclusion that reason and observation of the natural world are sufficient to determine the existence of a single creator of the universe. It goes on to say a little bit about them that um, they usually have been raised as Christians and believe in one God, but had become disenchanted with organized religion and orthodox teachings such as Trinity, biblical inerrancy, and the supernatural interpretation of events such as miracles including in those influenced by its ideas were leaders of the American and French revolutions. Even Wikipedia thinks that the Founding Fathers were deists. This lie has spread too far. It's time to hear some other opinions. In essence, a deist says that there is a God who created the world, but just looks at it as a fishbowl. This group would love you to believe that this view was that of all of the Founding Fathers. But it is a fallacy. Here's an article written for PragerU about the manipulation of facts about the Founding Fathers. Those who suggest that Adams was against religion like to quote from a letter he wrote to Thomas Jefferson, in which he said, this would be the best of all possible worlds if there was no religion in it. Unfortunately, those who cite this line never quote the lines that immediately follow. But in this exclamation, I should have been as fanatical as the skeptics of religion. Without religion, this world would be something not fit to be mentioned in polite company. I mean hell, end quote. So those who quote the first line without quoting the subsequent lines are either unaware of the full comment or are deliberately misleading people as to Adam's belief. Speaking of using actual quotes of founding fathers to prove they were or weren't indeed Bible-believing God followers, let's look at some of those. Samuel Adams I rely upon the merits of Jesus Christ for a pardon of all my sins. The entire Continental Congress in 1854. The great, vital, and conservative element in our system is the belief of our people in the pure doctrines and the divine truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Or Alexander Hamilton. That's right, Hamilton, like from the musical that all the left-wingers love. He was a revolutionary general, signer of the Constitution, author of the Federalist Papers, and the Secretary of the Treasury. Following his duel with Aaron Burr, from which he died, in those final 24 hours, while life still remained in him, Hamilton called for two ministers, the Reverend J.M. Mason and the Reverend Benjamin Moore, to pray with him and administer communion to him. Here the general, letting go of my hand, which he had held from the moment I had sat down at his bedside, clasped his hands together and, looking up towards heaven, said with emphasis, 
quoting Alexander Hamilton, I have a tender reliance on the mercy of the Almighty through the merits of the Lord Jesus Christ, end quote. Hamilton himself even relies on the merits of Jesus Christ in the end. I think you can argue that maybe the founding fathers were not evangelicals, but they were Christian, no matter how you spin it. Tell me what you think. Were the founding fathers Christian? Leave a comment down below or email us at hello at elephantpew.com. And don't forget to check in tomorrow to hear how Stephen attempts to prove that the founding fathers were not Christian. That should be good. Good luck with that, buddy. Don't forget to punch that subscribe button on the way out. And happy 4th of July, everybody. God bless.